Let's go! Everybody, the first major update to Monster Hunter now or expected to drop December 7th, 2023 at midnight. We are going to be getting four new monsters and that is going to be the Zenogre with a twist. We'll talk about that later in the video. We'll be also going to be getting the Rattleban, the Banbero, and the Barrier. Dude, perfect for the season. Super excited for the what looks to be a new biome. And we are also going to be getting two new weapons, some new skills, and events that are going to push us through the entire month of December, as well as pushing us into the new year of 2024. First of all, the new weapon is going to be the Dual Blade. And the Dual Blade will have Demon Mode that's going to switch up actions and enhance attacks. The Dual Blade will also have its own stamina and will be used up once the Demon Mode has run out. Very interesting. I wonder if it can be negated with your special skill. And speaking of special skills, it's going to be the Heavenly Dance Blade. And it looks like you're slicing down right down the middle of the monsters. You go high and you go all the way across, it looks like. Super exciting, guys. I've never been a big dual blade person myself, but I think for this game, uh, well, first of all, of course, I'm going to create a weapon. I haven't decided what yet, but I'm going to be creating a weapon for the dual blades, and then I'm going to be testing it out. And you know what? If it, and if it's my absolute favorite, then I'm going to stick with it for the rest of the game. Well, okay, maybe not for the rest of the game, but I'm definitely going to be uh, sticking with it for a while. They did release a video for the update, and I got a little animation of the Dual Blade special going right down the middle. No, which is awesome. Okay, so the second weapon they're releasing is the Lance, and it's going to allow you to guard just by tapping and holding the screen down, just like the Sword and Shield. Nothing too difficult there. Now, apparently, if you uh, perfectly block an attack, you will be able to counter with a high inflicting damage. Super interested to see what that looks like, and especially implemented on the phone. Super excited. The special dash skill attack. Okay, so if you haven't seen this ever, if you've never seen this before, you know, they raise their shield and you just charge straight into the monster, which is <laughs> super cinematic. It makes like good like little movie moments and stuff, and I'm super excited to try this out as well. I've never really been a lance person, but I'm definitely going to, of course, build a weapon for it. And then we'll see what we do with uh, after that point. I did make sure to add a little animation from the trailer. Guys, be sure to go and check it out. But there it is. Raise your shield up. Straight Leroy Jenkins right into that monster, man. No fear whatsoever. I love it. I can't wait to play it. Next up, guys, the Zenogre. This one was a little controversial to me. But I'll see what I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. But the Zenogre's Onslaught is only going to be appearing through the Urgent Quest. The next time we see it is going to be through the Zenogre Onslaught's event, which is going to be on the December 15th through the 17th. So they will be releasing more on the day of the update. But I, you know, personally, I hope it's not the short little three hour day events that we get. I made a video about that. Be sure to check it out, guys. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about two reigning champions that are expected to return back into Monster Hunter now. And that's going to be the Pink Rathian and the Black Diablos, man. Saturday the 15th all the way until January 8th. I, I think that's almost like a month, right? Like three to four weeks. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's generous of them. I hope it's not like a, one of those rare spawns. I hope it's kind of like more common, but we'll have to see what happens because, you know, people aren't done with uh, farming what they need to farm with both the Pink Rathian and the Black Diablos. And with, you know, this new update going on and everything, there's a lot. There's going to be a lot of grinding. There's going to be a lot of traveling, guys. So just be prepared. OK, but that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.